I started making this list, I thought it was gonna be easy, with maybe like 5 or 6 Disney remakes in development. After all, I kinda assumed by this point Disney had probably remade most of their back catalogue. Boy was I wrong. Wow. This was a difficult list to put together, not to mention all the clickbait and fake news out there. So after sifting through all of that and separating the real from the fake, I think I might have for you the most comprehensive list on the internet of every upcoming Disney live action adaptation currently in development. There are 21 movies on this list, and honestly, some of them shocked me. I'm Connor Fissler, and this is every single upcoming Disney live action remake. Mufasa, The Lion King. Let's start off with what will undoubtedly be the first live action remake on this list that will hit the silver screen. Yes, even despite very valid criticism about the ultra realistic animation affecting the ability to tell The Lion King story in a visually stimulating way, when 2019's The Lion King remake made close to 1.7 billion, it was only a matter of time before they announced another project in this live action universe. Mufasa The Lion King was first announced in 2020 with Oscar winning director Barry Jenkins attached to the project. This upcoming movie is actually a prequel and is set to explore Mufasa's past as a young lion, discovering his rhythm and how he conducts himself. Foremost, it will explore Mufasa's youth, perhaps revealing who he and Scar's parents were. In turn, it will uncover how their feud began and why this led Scar to resent Mufasa, thus leading him down his own dark path. It could also explain the unusual alliances between Mufasa, Zazu, and Scar and the Hyenas, who are both natural predators but share a rare bond. We don't really know much about the creative direction of this movie. I mean, will they opt for a more abstract animation style? Will it be a musical? With the movie set for a December 2024 release day, I'm sure we'll get a trailer very soon where a lot of these questions will be answered. Lilo and Stitch. I did a lot of ranting about the upcoming Lilo and Stitch remake a couple of weeks ago in our 5 Movies to Save Disney video. You should definitely check that out at the link in the description. For a while, I was actually excited about this project, especially when I heard Dean Fletcher Camp was set to direct. If you don't know who he is, he is responsible for the delightful Marcel the Shell with Shoes On, a movie that I personally adore and won't stop telling people to watch any chance I get. After a string of positive casting announcements, I was optimistic until we got the news this was going straight to Disney Plus. Without going into everything I stated in the 5 movies to save Disney video, I feel this basically neutered the full potential of a Lilo and Stitch movie. Beyond this just being an idiotic decision, as Stitch is such a powerful and popular merchandising powerhouse, the Lilo and Stitch movie could have spawned a series that could really have been Disney's response to the amazing Paddington movies, but with the backdrop of a giant action science fiction world. Since I made that video criticising the decision to send Stitch to Disney Plus, there's actually been some rumours suggesting that Disney might in fact have moved this from being a streaming release to a theatrical one. While that does make me happy, I hope it also means the production has been given an increased budget to fully develop and animate the CGI sections that will no doubt be prominent when dealing with the sci-fi alien sections of this story. Lilo and Stitch is rumoured to release in 2024, so it won't be long until we start seeing teasers for this project. <sighs> Snow White. Honestly, I am so over the brain rot discourse that surrounds this movie. And we've still got years to go of it. While YouTubers and outrage farmers will no doubt be making some serious cheddar off accusations that Disney has gone woke and gone broke, I'm going to keep myself away from that hogwash, well, the best I can. Out of every entry on this list, I would imagine this is probably the movie you've heard the most about. Directed by Mark Webb, the newest iteration of the iconic character stars Rachel Zegler, as Snow White, alongside Gal Gadot as the Evil Queen. We'd previously got quite a few leaks from the production of this movie, one of which was reportedly our new look at the dwarfs, which again served as fodder for the anti-woke brigade, but to the rest of us just kind of look like shitty extras from a Netflix fantasy movie. I mean, these costumes aren't it, chief. While many of the outrage claim that Disney has gone woke and chained the dwarfs to appease snowflakes, this was reportedly completely false as members 
of the production team revealed that they were brand new characters who would not be replacing the dwarfs. Our first still image look at the movie would later reveal that this was in fact the case, as all the classic dwarfs were present in the photo. If you enjoyed the discourse around The Little Mermaid in 2023, then rejoice! Get ready for more of it than ever! Yes, the original was set to release in 2024, but the movie has since been pushed back to 2025. So here's to that extra time for sprouting those neck beards. Keep fighting the good fight, guys. Moana. Hashtag we want Cody. Oh, oh, sorry, I don't know how that made it into the video script. Oh, my bad. During one of Disney's investor calls in 2023, Dwayne The Rock Johnson himself took to social media to announce that a live action adaptation of Moana was in development. It's really no surprise this one got announced as the animated predecessor grossed nearly 644 million at the global box office and has continually topped streaming charts year after year. The Rock is set to reprise his role as Maui in the live action version, which at the moment could be the biggest thing working against the project, as The Great One has definitely attracted more detractors in recent years. No specific time has been given for a release date, but we would say summer 2025 sounds pretty likely. Aladdin 2 if we were gonna make a list ranking live action Disney movies that probably won't get made, I'd probably put this one towards the top of the list. Yet for some reason, this project just won't die in development hell. This sequel to the live action original was announced very shortly after that movie was released. However, with close to five years passing, it looks ever less likely that this will materialize. Mina Masood, who played Aladdin, has even commented on this himself, stating that he thinks the sequel is very unlikely at this point. Despite this, the director of the original Guy Ritchie has stated we've been kicking some ideas around for a while now, but it'd be great to do it. It would be great to go back there. So while this might be somewhat exciting for fans who enjoyed the original remake, there is something to be said about the fact that this seems to be more in the stage of ideas being bounced around rather than something actually being worked on. But then again, Disney does seem somewhat committed to the Aladdin live action verse as there's also another project in this universe in the works. Segway, Prince Anders. In possibly the biggest, who asked for this, news story of all time, Disney is developing a live action spin-off series based on Prince Anders. Who you ask? Well, you may remember the character from his brief appearance in the 2019 movie, where he was a potential suitor for Princess Jasmine. I mean, I don't really know why this was ever considered. I mean, off the top of my head, I could probably think of 10 other ideas you could do in the Aladdin universe if you really needed Disney Plus content. But what's weird is that the actor behind Prince Anders is still saying the series is coming, which like, yeah, I love the optimism, man, but I don't know. I put it this way, if this ends up actually coming to Disney+, Plus, I will give every single person who clicks the like button on this video $1,000. Jungle Book 2. Out of the long list of live action Disney remakes, there is only one I would consider watching over the original it was based on, and that is 2016's The Jungle Book. Maybe it's because, despite what many people want to believe, the 1967 version isn't that great, so it's almost as if it was hard to make the remake any worse. Gone is the snail's pace of the original, instead we are catapulted into a much more interesting and complex jungle with characters that are both excited and terrifying. The remake seemingly set up a sequel, with Mowgli remaining in the jungle for more adventures. Disney confirmed this by announcing a sequel before that movie even released and became a massive box office hit. Now, it's been close to a decade since that movie was being released and it's just been tumbleweeds in terms of development updates since then. There are rumours that the movie will focus on disregarded ideas from the 1967 version and there's also a bunch of other Jungle Book stories Disney could adapt from if they wanted, so the potential is very much there for a sequel, but as more time goes by, I just find this one ever less likely to see the light of day. Hercules. Man oh man, I loved Hercules as a kid. I would watch the movie every night before falling asleep, I would watch the series on Toon Disney as a kid, and then afterwards I'd suck at the PS1 game, and I had a bunch of Hercules action figures. And man, when I finally got to visit Disney World, I was so hyped to track down the Hercules characters and get their autographs. So yeah, the Hercules IP means something to me. And I also kind of remember envisioning what a realistic version of this movie would 
of real people would look like when I was a kid. Obviously, at the tender age of, um, well, young. I would never have envisioned the making of TikTok, and that's probably good because even as a young whippersnapper, I would have told you this was a dumb idea. Yes, the producer extraordinaires behind the Avengers and list other MC movies here are also working on Hercules live action and have said the movie will be inspired by TikTok and how that platform has trained audiences as to what music should look and feel like. Okay, so without getting to old man yells at clouds, I just think this is so lame. I mean, how can you screw up Hercules? I think part of the appeal of the movie to me as a young boy was it was just really cool. It had these massive monsters, an amazing villain, incredible music, and hey, I mean, Meg wasn't too bad either, was she? I mean, I do like the idea of seeing all this in super crisp modern CGI. It just sounds like it would be a lot of fun. I know this is basically the criticism a lot of people have of these Disney remakes, right? They're just soulless retellings without anything to say. But I guess that's how Disney gets you, huh? For me, Hercules is the one I do kind of want to see. I'm hoping the TikTok comment was just a poorly worded comment from the Russos, because if you could really capture the bouncing off the walls energy of the original, this could actually be a lot of fun. All of my fingers are crossed for this remake, but given this will likely become the next victim of the gone woke, gone broke mob, after Snow White, I kind of feel like I might lose some of that optimism. No release date on this one as of yet, but if we were to predict, we're probably looking at between 2025 and 2027. Bambi. The Bambi live action remake has actually been in development for quite a while for Disney, and it's one of those ones that leave you scratching your head. I mean, what reason does it really have to exist? Is there anything a live action adaptation of Bambi could really bring to the table? Will this thing even make any money? I just don't get it. Lindsay Anderson Beer, who was formerly attached to write Disney's live action remake of Bambi, teased that her remake would have handled the death of Bambi's mother a little differently to make it more palatable to modern audiences. The production stories around this one seem fairly consistent, which leads me to believe we'll eventually end up seeing Bambi, but I predict it'll be on Disney Plus rather than in movie theaters. Robin Hood and from one potential Disney Plus release to another, The Hollywood Report announced in 2020 that Robin Hood would be the next movie to get the live action adaptation treatment. And as a quick side note, can I just say how underrated the original animated Robin Hood movie is? No, like seriously, no one talks about how good of a movie that actually is. This new take is set to be a musical again and will also feature anthropomorphic characters in a live action CG hybrid format. Honestly, like a few others on this list, developing the news has been pretty quiet, but that's not unusual for Disney Plus remakes. I still fully expect to see this one drop in the next couple of years. Tink. Okay, let's move over to a live action adaptation that has actually been in development for close to 15 years. When it was originally announced in 2010, it was set to star Elizabeth Bank, but never moved forward. Then in 2015, the project was revived by Reese Witherspoon, but obviously it's been nearly 10 years and we've not heard anything about this project. What complicates reporting on this adaptation more is the fact that Yara Shahidi took on the role of Tinkerbell in the Disney Plus adaptation of Peter Pan and Wendy. Many thought this meant she'd carry on the role in the standalone event since then though, there's also been even more casting rumours. These say that Jennifer Lawrence is being hired to play Tinkerbell, which I don't hate in concept. But honestly, this movie has never really gained enough momentum to make me believe we are going to see it anytime soon. The Black Cauldron. Your Hot Topic obsessed cousin loves The Black Cauldron. Your Hot Topic obsessed cousin reminds you at every opportunity that this is an underrated classic. Your Hot Topic obsessed cousin believes that this was the last time Disney really released an original movie. You know, it's all just kind of mainstream stuff now and it doesn't really challenge kids. Like when I was little, stuff used to be actually scary and dark, you know, like, like the material actually had artistic flair. What's happening with modern Disney movies nowadays? They're all the same, the sequels are real. Yes, thank you Hot Topic obsessed cousin. Very good. You know they're making a live action adaptation, right? You bloody sheep. Yes, in 2016, Disney once again acquired the rights of the Chronicles of Prydain, with the intention of making a live action adaptation of the novels. But I'm sorry to say, Hot Topic Obsessed Cousin, ever since we got the news of the rights being acquired, it's been nothing but radio silence. Honestly, given the fact that Disney's live action adaptations have received even more backlash in recent years, I think it's safe to assume Disney will stick to more surefire hits 
before delving deep into lesser remembered movies, especially ones that infamously bombed the first time around. Sorry, Hot Topic obsessed cousin. The Hunchback of Notre Dame. If you couldn't tell, we're getting to the point in our list that I like to call the limbo. Movies that have been announced but have since gone dark without any news on production, casting or release dates. And despite starting out of the gate hot, The Hunchback of Notre Dame has similarly fallen into this category. First announced in 2019, fans were incredibly excited as they believed this adaptation of Victor Hugo's original novel would lend itself brilliantly to a live action format. When it was first announced, it came out of the gate swinging. Tony Award winning playwright David Henry Huang was attached to screenwriting duties, with legend Alan Menken providing the updated music. There was also rumours that Josh Gad was in talks to play Quasimodo, but many years have passed since that point, and updates have been relatively far and few between, with the last major one coming from Alan Menken himself who said the movie was experiencing some adaption issues given the fact the animated movie faces so many real and important issues. Again, The Hunchback of Notre Dame is a beloved movie and will definitely release at some point, but just don't expect it to be one of the fastest releases on this list. Koala 2 Should we try to be a little bit more optimistic for just a second? The first Koala movie was surprisingly actually pretty well received by audiences upon its release, so it was quickly announced that a sequel was in development, and rumours have continued to swirl about that project ever since. Unlike others that seem to stay in a state of limbo, it actually looks like Koala 2 might happen. As in January 2024, Emma Stone actually said the movie is a work in progress, and she believes they will begin shooting sooner rather than later. At the moment it's another one we're going to have to wait for more news on, but with Emma Stone being such a bankable star it would be crazy for Disney to let this slip through the cracks, such as the likes of Aladdin 2 and Jungle Book 2. The Aristocats and while we are trying to be optimistic, let's look at a recent live action adaptation announcement that, because of its recency, hasn't had the time to fall into that quote unquote limbo. While the Aristocats isn't one of Disney's juggernaut franchises, the tale is considered a classic by many fans. Plans for a remake were first made known in January 2023, and news has continued to circulate about the project ever since then. In April 2023, it was announced that the lead and member of The Roots, Questlove, would be directing the adaptation, meaning this would be his debut as a narrative feature filmmaker. At the rate this one is moving at, and if it avoids any speed bumps or setbacks, we're probably looking at a 2025 to 2027 release. The Sword in the Stone And now back to another movie that has been in some form of development for close to a decade. But wait, there actually might be light at the end of the tunnel for The Sword in the Stone. When it was first announced back in 2015, it was at a time when we were still naive to the fact that Disney had planned to remake and reboot all of their animated classics. Ah, a simpler time. Brian Cogman of Game of Thrones fame was set to write the movie, and Pirates of the Caribbean producer Brigham Taylor was set to produce. That version of the movie seemingly died because in 2021 Deadline reported a whole new creative team had come on, on to direct a version of the King Arthur novel series that would be known as Merlin. Not enough time has passed that makes the possibility of it being canned viable yet, but for now we don't really have a lot of details on Merlin. Maleficent 3 and now a film I can confidently say will likely, probably, definitely, maybe be released. The first Maleficent movie was released in 2014 and the sequel Maleficent Mistress of Evil followed in 2019. The film serves as a retelling of Sleeping Beauty from the perspective of the story's villain who puts a curse on the infant Princess Aurora. A third movie was announced back in September 2021 and for a while we were in that dreaded limbo territory again. But in December 2023, Maleficent herself, Angelina Jolie, confirmed that despite wanting to take a step back from acting, the Oscar winner would reprise her role as the iconic villain from Sleep and Beauty. Unfortunately, at the moment, that's all the tea we have to spill on this one. But hey, look, at least it looks like it's happening, right? Watch a decade pass now without a single update. Frozen. Okay, now we're in a category that fully needs to be taken with a large grain of salt, 
as at the moment there are no formal or official announcements regarding the development of the following movies. So let's start with Frozen. I think many fans assumed we would eventually get a live action version of Frozen, but perhaps in a couple of decades, as the first animated movie is still relatively new to the Disney catalogue. When the Moana live action movie was announced, this kind of changed everything. And if rumours are to be believed, a live action adaptation of Frozen is in the early stages of development. While concept trailers across the internet have teased Margot Robbie as Elsa, no official casting has been made. With Disney's Mega D23 taking place in 2024, we honestly wouldn't be surprised if we hear more about live action Frozen then. Because I mean, it's just gonna happen, isn't it? I mean, it's basically just free money. Tank. Okay, we're staying in speculation territory with this one. Like Frozen, rumours of a live-action Tangled movie have swirled around for quite a while now. When rumours of a Frozen adaptation began to resurface, Tangled was also mentioned in these reports. Disney insiders have also claimed that Disney is looking at Florence Pugh to play Rapunzel in this adaptation. The original voice actor of Flynn Rider, Zachary Levi, also weighed in on the potential remake, stating he would love to do another iteration. Again, no official announcement has been made by Disney or any really reliable entertainment outlets. Like Frozen, we'll 100% see this adaptation at some point, but there's just nothing at the moment that gives us hope that it'll be in the next decade, quite frankly. The Princess and the Frog. This is a movie that has been in demand for Disney fans ever since The House of Mouse started remaking their back catalogue. With The Princess and the Frog, we remain in speculation nation, as at the moment it's all just rumours. Yet with this one, comments from Walt Disney Animation Studios CCO revealed that conversations have actually happened in some capacity about giving The Princess and the Frog the live action remake treatment. So we know it's on the studio's radar. There was actually another pretty big report a few months ago that hinted toward the incredible Lapita Nyong'o playing Tiana in the remake. Disney seems to be heavily invested in Princess and the Frog as a franchise at the moment, with a Tiana Disney Plus spin-off in the works and Tiana's Bayou Adventure coming to Disney parks. Given this investment, I think it's fair to say they will also want a live action adaptation to fully establish Tiana and her pals as one of their top franchise IPs. Tarzan. I honestly feel the same way about Tarzan as I do Hercules. It was another one of my favourite Disney movies, and man, who remembers that animated show? That shit used to go hard. Like many others towards the end of this list, this is one that is based on speculation. Like Frozen, Princess and the Frog, and Tangled, Tarzan was a part of the same rumoured leak of animated classics that would be getting a live action adaptation. There was a string of very bizarre casting rumours from unreliable outlets stating who was set to play Tarzan. I mean, do people actually buy this stuff? Out of these four movies rumoured to be in development at the end of the list, Tarzan does sound like it would be a lower priority for Disney. Not to mention that a Disney live action film is complicated by a tangled web of intellectual property rights. Although Disney holds the rights to its unique adaptation of Tarzan. The character's original creator Edgar Rice Burroughs and his estate also hold certain rights. The dual ownership creates legal and financial hurdles, requiring Disney to navigate additional negotiations and potential legal complexities. These complexities might prompt Disney to favour other projects with clearer paths to production and profitability. Sidelining a live action Tarzan adaptation due to these logistical and rights related concerns. Well, that was an exciting one to end on, and that's our list! Which Disney live action adaptation are you most excited to see? Which, which one do you think will never see the light of day? Leave a comment below and let us know. Hey, if you like Disney movies, maybe also you like concepts for movies that aren't even out yet. We've got a trailer for Incredibles 3 about a power draining cult. And we've got a political thriller based on a remote island of birds in Zootopia 2. Check them out at the link in the description. Make sure you keep it locked here to the channel. I've been Connor for Slurp, and hopefully the next video will be a little easier to produce.